Hola amigos, welcome to another episode of Spanish Academy TV and today we're going to answer a question that we get asked all the time. How do I use my keyboard in Spanish, both on a Mac or a PC? We got a lot of good information for you, stay tuned. Hey Spanish learners, right now we're going over how to use the keyboard on your PC in order to type Spanish characters. Now, when we're talking about Spanish characters, specifically what we're talking about are the accents on the vowels, as well as the special character of the ñ, the most used punctuation marks, which are the upside down exclamation mark and the upside down question mark. In order to get the first vowel, which we'll start with A in this case, is we're gonna use alt codes. So we'll simply press our alt key, I'll hold it down, and then I'll punch in 0225. Then I'll let go of my alt key, and automatically the lowercase a with the accent should appear. E with an accent, what we're gonna do is we're gonna use our alt code, and then we're gonna do 0233, let go, and boom, it should show up automatically. The I with the accent, and hit the alt code one more time, 0237, boom, shows up. And then moving on, we're gonna go do the O with the accent. So that will be alt code 0243, and that shows up. And so our alt code for the U is gonna be alt and 0250. Let go, boom, it shows up for us. So what we're gonna do now is, now that we know all the lowercase letters, let's transition to the uppercase letters. Let's start with A. So with the alt code, I have 0193, let go, and it shows. Moving on to the next alt code, we're gonna do E. And so E capitalized is gonna be alt 0201. Making progress here, guys, and then the next letter that we're gonna attack is the capital I with an accent. And so using a trusty alt code, go figure, 0205, and that will give us that. Alt code 0211, and that will give us an O. And then last but not least, alt code 0218, let go, and it shows up. So at this point, we've gone through all of our vowels, both lowercase and capitalized. Now, what about the special character of ñ, which is not in the English alphabet, but it is in the Spanish alphabet. So we wanna make sure we cover that as well. So we have the alt code, and that is going to be alt 0241, and then we let go, boom, it shows up, all right? Now, again, um, if we wanted to do it with an uppercase, it will be alt, 0209, and that gives us our uppercase ñ, all right? And now we're gonna use the two most common punctuation marks in Spanish that are special characters because they're not included in the English language, which is the upside down exclamation and the upside down question mark. Trust the alt code one more time, and then type in 0161, and that will give us that character. And so with the upside down question mark is going to be alt code 0191. Let go, and there it is. We're gonna move on to the Mac. Keisha offers ethically handcrafted footwear, home goods, and accessories. Using locally sourced Guatemalan materials, Tasha's clothing and products offer stunning designs and a unique story. Be part of the social impact movement. To learn more, go to www.tasha.is or click on the link in the description below. Welcome back guys, and right now we're gonna be going over the keyboard codes to writing Spanish using a Mac. The first things first, let's go ahead and just cover this formula. If I hit that Alt Option key and I hold it down, I'm gonna hit the E key after that, and you'll see that my screen is actually activated with a little tilde sign, which is an accent mark. And then all I need to do is then select the letter that I want to accent. So I'm gonna do it in this case with the letter A. So I press A and boom, 
it is accented. And so it's just that simple. So you use this formula for any of the lowercase vowels that you want to add an accent to. So let's just go down the line here. So Alt Option E and the next letter is E. Boom, that's great. Alt Option E and then the letter I wanna highlight is I. Alt Option E and then I wanna do O. Alt Option E and then I wanna do U. To me, this is a much more simple option and just wanna say thanks to Apple for that and we really appreciate it. The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to do the capital letters. The only difference to the Mac keyboard is that you're gonna add in a shift key. So it'd be option key plus E, which highlights it. And then you wanna hold shift and then whatever letter you wanna capitalize. We're just gonna run through the list. Option key E, shift E, boom. Option key E, shift I, boom. Option key E, shift O, boom. Option key E, shift U. It's just all there, it's just all that simple, okay? Right now what we're gonna do is we're going to add the enye, okay? And I'm gonna show you how to do that both in lowercase and in capital letters, okay? Option key N and then N in order to get the lowercase. So just to demonstrate that, we're gonna do option key N and then N again. Boom, it's right there. So if we want it capitalized, the only difference is we're gonna do option key N, shift N, and it's gonna give us the capitalized N Y. okay? And so the last two things that I need to show you is the punctuation marks for the upside down exclamation mark and the upside down question mark. We're just going to do option key one, and that's gonna give us what we need for the upside down exclamation mark. And so for the upside down question mark, it's gonna be the option key plus shift plus the question mark. And boom, there, that's it. That's all you need to know in order to be pretty functional in Spanish on your Mac keyboard, okay? Well guys, that's basically it. So if you need any additional resources, feel free to click in the link in the description below and download our PDF. If you wanna take your Spanish to the next level, check out our website at spanish.academy. Take a free class with a live instructor to get your Spanish to that next level. Is there anything that we missed in this video? Is there anything that we could have done better or included? Leave your comments in the comments section. Give us some thumbs up if you thought this video was valuable and hit the subscribe button and the little notification bell to make sure that you get all the notifications for our future videos. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.